Make some noise now. Start clapping now for the one, the only. Come on, guys. It's for Ryan Day. everybody welcome to another episode of hit the mics with ryan d i of course am ryan d joined today by mr raymond barcello hey i love that intro raymundo barcello 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 dude it's been a long time since i've seen you it's It's been been, it's been a very long time over five years it's gotta be gotta be i don't know when the last time was but uh Raymond's also uh, Raymond's a, a a stage actor, a theater actor, mm-hmm. uh, musical theater actor. We we had high school drama together, and he's since been doing uh, great things. And I've been wanting to get him on here and talk about his uh, journey so far, and uh, maybe and catch up a little bit. Like we just said, we hadn't talked about in about five years. So yeah. uh, welcome. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, but oh. we finally made it happen. I'm You're probably, good. We're You're all good. set up. I know I'm a little. My theatrics are a little <laughs> over the top for my little tiny apartment, but oh, I just, I, love it. I, I just, love I try and make it for what I can. This is makeshift shoebox studios. We call it shoebox studios, right? I here. love it. Yeah. Yes. In our little shoebox apartment. So how are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm in town for a couple of days. Uh, I don't know. As you know, I moved to Arizona about three years ago. Yeah. So how's that? All that been going? It's hot. <laughs> um, right now it's nice. The weather is nice right now because fall and winter okay so when how long ago did you moved how, how many years three years three years ago. three years ago the first and first you're doing day. you're doing all the stuff that you're doing out there and it's it's, it's with with is it with school that you're doing no that? no no just that's just like on right on and so you and your thing just you and your boyfriend live out in arizona and we live with his family his oh family I see, lived I see. out there and then so um we moved out there shortly after that nice. so we live with his folks but we have a nice little casita Mm -hmm. so it's like a little joint apartment yeah yeah but it's beautiful it's we have our own bedroom bathroom the works nice our own drive or not driveway walkway i'm sure it's a lot bigger than this (laughs) it's actually we were talking to your girlfriend earlier it's about the same size really it's just long it's just oh okay okay well cool man um so what i mean obviously being in a relationship kind of has something to do with it but what gets you to because I mean, I see what you're doing on on social media and stuff, and it lo- it seems like you're pretty busy with the uh, the whole oh, yeah. theater and whatnot. So, mm-hmm. w- when you, I know you were going to school out here, you went to the Citrus, right? Went to Citrus, and then I graduated from Citrus. Okay, and then um, kind of just auditioned a little bit, and then shortly, about a year later, I went to PCC for a couple semesters I just see. to continue training, and yeah, then shortly after that, then around that time, that's when we moved. So now I'm just. So did you already have like connections out there in the uh, the theater scene? At first, or? no. Okay. Because what ended up happening was, so when I lived here, I did a couple shows at the Glendale Center Theater. Uh, oh shit! Oh. That, was that me that just popped? What did I just do? Oh, I don't know. What did I just do? I sound Hello. louder. I hit you a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I did. I turned oh. you up. Let me hear you. Go ahead. Hello. Can okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Um, let me turn you down a little turn bit. Me, turn me down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there. I fixed you. All right, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, I was doing some shows at the Glendale Center Theater when I lived out here. Um, and then when I moved out there, I was like, oh, I'm like looking at places to audition. Mm-hmm. And they have a theater out there called the Hale Center Theater. And lo and behold, they were all related. And so on the auditions there, they're like, you worked oh, okay. with my brother out in California. And oh, wow. And so, uh, yeah, and then I've been just in auditioning and getting in shows there ever since. So, so that's interesting because because with me, you know, I've I've gotten into I've gone into stand up and stuff. So yeah, with yeah. that, like, there's there is a you know because of the world of social media, there's kind of a network that you know if you know somebody from Arizona, they come down to L.A. Mm-hmm. You know, you you give them a 
few tips on who to talk to or mm. give them some spots on your bar shows or whatever, yeah. then they hook you up when you go down to like, or I would imagine it's the same. Is it kind of like similar to that? Or? Um, I, I guess maybe, <laughs> um, it just kind of all happened. I was yeah. just a coincidence. I was like, well, all right then. I mean, the theater community is very small. Is it? Oh yeah. I mean, you, just in the in general, or in just general. in the states. Because like even when, like in Arizona, like I'm talking to people and they're like, "Well, when I did this show here," and I was like, "Oh, you you must, do you know this person and this person?" And yeah, I mean, somehow we all kind of hmm. know each other through different things. And interesting. And uh, well, some of the one of the directors out there, well, the main director out there, um, he used to work in California. And so he knew all the people I did shows with out here. Like oh, nice. The directors, producers out here. So it's just crazy. Yeah, I'd so imagine it being, cause since you, you're in Arizona working, I'd imagine it being a little easier to get work out there. Um, is, that, is that safe to say, or is that kind of just? It depends. It, uh, honest, the talent pool in, in Phoenix is very good. Like the theater community, and I didn't even know it when I moved out there because I was like, well, what am I going to do when I move out there? <laughs> like, yeah. Watch cactus grow? Like, right, <laughs> right, right, right. The theater community out there is huge. Like, almost, really? I say it's equivalent, if not a little better, than the LA theater scene out here. Well, I would think so. I mean, ju- just from what I understand, you know, out here there's so much going on. It's just, mm-hmm. it's just so. It's too much for anybody to even try and, like, support, you know, one thing or another. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's so many small community theaters all around here Mm -hmm. that run even comedy shows and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even then, it's – most people don't even know that there's a theater in their neighborhood out here. Mm -hmm. So um, I would imagine it being different in other states because there's not so much going on, if that makes sense. I get you, yeah. And – uh, when I first moved out there, it, it very much felt that way. I was like, well, I mean, there's not a lot around here, but literally in the past three years since I've lived there, it's like, especially the town we live in, Mesa, Gilbert area, um, it's definitely building up a lot more bars, a lot more like pub-like places, yeah. a lot more um, social life. So it's kind of building up, and because I, I feel like just the cost of living out there is cheaper, of course. And everyone's starting to figure that out. So sure. it started becoming more populated, yeah. which, which is good, which is fine. Yeah. I enjoy it. So did you even try and do anything out here, like as far as professional? I mean, uh, I've, I've, done, I've done some good stuff out here. Um, okay. Like well, let, yeah, Glendale, let's hear about it. Like, what'd you, theater. What'd you, and what were you doing there at the theater? So Glendale. And Glendale. So right after college. Because, okay, I mean, the people mm-hmm. who are listening to this, to this are, haven't – they probably have no idea about our history of, of doing shows in mm-hmm. in high school for so much. I mean, you were the one that did that. Always, you you were you were a theater nerd. Like you were into oh, the. I was the full on <laughs> theater nerd. Full on, like I'm gonna wear a beret and right. drink coffee and <laughs> let me light my candle and say my thespian pledge. Yeah, yes, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We loved all that. Oh, we yeah. took ourselves way too way seriously. too serious. I look yeah. back and I'm like, oh. God. God, <laughs> God! Like look at those pictures. I was like, and we thought we were the hot shit. Yeah, we did. Hot. Shit. Well, we were, bro. Let's be. Come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, but anyway, um, but yeah, but you, I mean, if, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, suck your dick a little bit here, but I'm not oh, figuratively, please, please. Figur- figuratively though. But it, I mean, you were definitely the, the most talented of the of our our, our era, I believe. Our and era. I and when when we did shows together i was always like ray's gonna do great things like i like everybody always talked about like how they wanted to be actors and do all this other shit but i knew for sure you were actually going to be the one person that would pursue it and actually be on stage like a lot more than anybody else yeah well thank you thank you (laughs) (laughs) and i knew you were going to be good at it because you were you were so passionate about it oh yeah yeah and it all started at a young age like and I blame my mother. I'm like, mother, you were the reason I'm gay. You took me to my first <laughs> musical. And I was like, yes, that's for me. That is how it works, mm-hmm. huh? That's what I hear. Oh, yeah. And then, then came into like, oh, I'm going to dress like Mary Poppins today. You know? Right. So. <laughs> right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it just is, as long as I can remember, it's always been something I wanted to do. And I still want to do. And there's still yeah. a lot more I want to do. So, well, that's great. Um, um, yeah. So, okay, so let's go back to Glendale. So what were you – Yeah. What, what kind of shows were you working on so, there? So uh, right after college, I was just like, okay, so I'm done with college. Now I'm going to get out there and – Did you just this. go and, like, do 
I mean, because I didn't even go to college. I went to college for like five minutes. So <laughs> this, this, this is like the funny thing is like, uh-huh. you know, I haven't talked to a lot of people from, you know, our, our theater scene besides, the you know, Ricky and Garrett. Those are the only two that I've been uh-huh. really statically hanging out with. But mm-hmm. uh, um, so <laughs> for me, when I got out of, I got out of school, I got, we and then it was like they, you know, wanted to you, – you, yeah, you have to figure out what the fuck you're going to do. Like, immediately, you got to choose your, choose your major and all that shit. Oh, and yeah. it was just so overwhelming. But I got a Cal Grant. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take I'm gonna take this semester off before I even went to school. So uh-huh. I was like, I'm going to have to go to school right after the summer? Like, that, I don't even get, like, a summer. But that's crazy. So yeah, I was yeah. just like, fuck it. I took, like, the first year off. Mm-hmm. And, then I fi- and then I went back. Still had all that money that the state was going to give to me to go to school. And I just <laughs> fucked right off. Because like, <laughs> I went in and I had money. I got money. I, well, I, I didn't fuck right off. I, I, I learned some, like, basic tools for, like, video editing mm-hmm. and, and broadcasting, oh. actually. And um, and it worked to your benefit? I guess so, you know, because, I, I mean, I guess I could, But those were the only two classes that I actually went to because the rest of them were like... <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> General Ed, what? Yeah. Math. Uh, yeah, exactly. They were like, you got to do pre-algebra. I was like, nope. I did that in, like when I was 14, dude. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, right. I ain't, like, I ain't doing it again. But uh, anyway, so I, I mean, I took those general, a few mm-hmm. general c- courses and stuff, and then the the, f- the few tools of the, the classes that I actually liked, and I, I just took that and ran with it and just did my own thing. Yeah. So I didn't even go to school. Uh, and then I just started working and, mm-hmm. you know, whatnot. And then, uh, so here I am now. But <laughs> but anyway, so you went actually and did the whole four year so college I, thing. I did well. I went to community college. I went to Citrus, um, and I was so excited to go to Citrus because, like, you know, in high school and like I always man, my cousin's a teacher there. When yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. that's right. Yeah, um, I knew that. Um, voice teacher, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Valverde. Val, yes, yeah. yes. I never had him, but uh, I will. And I went to Citrus. Get this. So I went to Citrus. I went into just doing regular theater. Uh-huh. Um, Cause I, but then I auditioned for their musicals and, hey, I got cast in some of them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mostly just focused on the the theater part, the acting, you know, scene study, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that, and that definitely was a great groundwork, you know, because then later I studied more on the voice and yeah, dance and stuff yeah. like that, and so. So you didn't get it. Uh, well, I mean, we. You, <laughs> I love to talk. I, I was talking to somebody that I had on another comic I had on here. Uh-huh. Uh, he was he also did, he did jazz band. Yeah, yeah. And I think like some musical theater or something like that. And I was mm-hmm. just like, oh no, no, I'm sorry. I was an actor I had in last week. Uh, he's he's like a pretty dramatic screen actor. Okay. And he just he just got on. He's been on a, an episode of Nine One One on Fox. Oh. So oh, he was oh, like on, he was yeah. on that. And we were talking and stuff, and he was talking about how you know how he got he got started because he was a he was an EMT. Oh wow! And they needed EMTs for a TV show. Hey, yeah. And that's how he he got started. And I was telling, I was talking to him, and he said he did like some theater work and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, I had to do Shakespeare in high school. And I was like, which I don't know why anybody <laughs> thinks that's a good idea. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, Shakespeare and musical theater. Like, can we stop doing that with like with high school kids? Like, we, I mean, everyone everyone <laughs> right. hates it, right? But at the time when we were doing it, we're like, we oh, thought we were the shit. We are Shakespearean <laughs> actors. <laughs> I know my with mean, our edited Midsummer Night's oh, Dream Jesus. script in an hour. Mean, meanwhile, my dad was falling asleep. Like, huh? when, when's oh, it over? And my mother was there every night filming. Yeah, she's like making the costumes and. Living. Yeah, your mom was the uh, your mom was the team mom. She really was. Yeah, yeah. She was like, she, we had orange slices and Capri Suns. And, <laughs> um, yeah, she was she was uh, our biggest fan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, is. okay, so you said you were auditioning. Okay, so you, you do in dramatic roles, you're auditioning for the plays at Citrus. Yeah, yeah, and I did a lot of the, the, sh- the plays there. I did a lot of the musicals, too. Um, but uh, I, I, f- I get more work in musicals just because I'm, you know, character actor who can kind of sing and kind of dance. Right. So, and I can kind of be funny. So that's been working to my benefit. Um, but, yeah, uh so yeah, like right. So did all that, and then after college, auditioned. I was like, well, they're they're uh, casting a children's show. They're doing Aladdin. I was like, hey, that sounds like fun. I can Ooh, that sounds do cool. something like that. And then I went in, auditioned, and then they did. It was like a little version they did, uh, like a uh, they wrote themselves. But I got cast Interesting. as the genie. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. <laughs> and we ran that for a 
think it was like a five to so six they, month they run. So they didn't do like the Disney version or was it a... No, no. It was like a full on Saturday morning, um, you know, like 99 cent store version. Of, ah, uh, okay. Aladdin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they wrote, and they, it was a full musical, like a you know hours long show. Uh, um, I had a couple songs. It was fun. Nice. I got burnt. That was also fun. You got burnt. Yeah. There's they did the special effect where when the genie comes out of the lamp, there's like a spark that goes off. <laughs> and it was I think it was the the final dress rehearsal. We're, we're running it, and all of a sudden I'm like doing my scene, and all of a sudden I'm like. I'm getting singed. Oh my god! My costume's you, on your fire. Costume got on fire. Yeah. And I was like, just patting it out. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, whoop. And then I went off stage and I was like, went to the costumer. I was like, I'm so sorry, but I burnt your costume. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, oh, no, I have another one here. Oh, wow. But they fixed that right away. I was like, they're like, yeah, don't stand under the flash pot next time. Because I was standing like right underneath that. And it was still like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I was that's, so excited. That's, that's like, one thing I noticed about uh, our makeshift fucking sets and all that stuff was that uh, someone always got injured. Oh yes, when we were, when we were <laughs> in high school, it was. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, because this is the only look. Like, because after, dude, I because of what happened so much in those four years that that I was going through that, like it really made me not want to do theater ever again. Just because it was like a hazard. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. no, just everything that we went through and stuff. I mean, obviously. I don't, maybe maybe I just realized I kind of got it out of my system, you know, because all okay. the training that I got out of that, mm-hmm. I still like it helped me get into stand up like one hundred totally. oh, yeah. percent. Um, because I felt like I was ready. Like once I was ready, I felt like I was ready to do it. Because I, I I had been so so long just being such a pussy. Like this was something that I always wanted to do, and then mm-hmm. it took me four years to finally sit down and like write a thing down, write mm-hmm. write an act out, and then go to an mm. open mic. That's great. And then, see, I don't know if I could do stand up. Well, that's the thing is like that. Here's the here's where I, I understand the difference is like you, you. I feel like you. Can, I, I don't like working with other people, <laughs> 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 which is like I'm not much. Maybe it's, that's just maybe I'm not that much of a team player. Whereas mm-hmm. like you seem like a happy go lucky, more like kind of a ensemble type dude. I try. <laughs> I try. I mean, you have those people like oh god, then you know. Right. Right. Can't stand to work with. Um, well, of but. course, but I mean, everybody's There's one got in everyone. That. There's yeah. one in every group. Yeah. But. So maybe that's where it came from, because then after all that, like, because then, because I, I, I did always want to still do acting, and I still do, like, short films here and there and stuff, but I'm just so not a fan of, like, the competition of, of being, like, like, I've got, I've got an audition every couple months or so. Like, I scored a pretty good commercial. Oh, nice. That never aired, though. Hey. It was kind of a bummer, but, uh, oh. yeah, I got, uh. I got a Samsung commercial. Hey, for the, nice. the the Galaxy phone. Okay, it. and uh, I mean it paid well, but hey, it, but I never got well. on TV. <laughs> I mean, did you get a copy of it at least? No, no, oh, I don't know where the fuck it is. It's just like, oh, you're real gone. Yeah, I don't know. That's stupid. Yeah, it sucked. But anyway, what about? So okay, sorry, I'm trying to I'm like <laughs> jumping in here, but I'm trying to get like your your path to like where you wound up right now. So, um, good question. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, well, so we were, we, were at, so we were at Citrus. You said you caught on fire doing Aladdin, but that was at the Glendale Theater. That was at the Glendale Theater. Theater. No. Okay, so, so how'd you get the, how'd you get to the Glendale Theater? Uh, just auditioning. I looked it up on the backstage oh, okay. website. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, audition websites. And then yeah, I, uh, since being at the Glendale, um, I did a couple more shows there. I did a Christmas Carol a couple times. Uh, Who were you in a Christmas Carol? Over there, I've done so many productions of Christmas Carols over the years. Um, that ver that year, I. Played the uh, ensemble choir person, and then charity charity solicitor. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so it was that. Um, yeah, and I did that, and then the next year I kind of filled in a couple shows because I was just kind of like an understudy. I took that year off. I also did a musical there called Crazy for You, and that's to this day was one of the best shows I've done there. So what kind of theater is this? Just a small. Oh shit! Ooh. I should probably mute that. You should mute that. <laughs> Usually people don't send me messages during this show, so that was interesting. Anyway, uh, do, we get, so do we get a message? Oh. I don't know. It's <laughs> probably just a personal message. No somebody commented. Uh, like, let's see. Get off the air. Lawrence. Lawrence said, Raymond. Lawrence. <laughs> was that? It's your, uh, yeah, your, I guess that would be your brother's bandmate. Oh, <laughs> Lawrence. Oh, look, it's uh, it's one of those fake accounts with a chick with her with her boobs out. That no. just said hello, Ryan. 
Hello. Hello. What's her name? Her name is Steve. Her name is Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hello, st- Hello, Steve with titties. <laughs> Steve with titties. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Anyway. Um. <laughs> so, so the Glendale Theater. Uh, these there's a lot of these tiny little theaters that I can't imagine. Is that what it was? Is it, well, like how many seats? Oh, oh. Uh, so that that theater was in the. Is it, it's still there uh, in the round. Um, all their theaters are in the round. The, the theater I work at in Arizona right now is in the round. Um, okay. Uh, it's a larger theater. I'd say about mm, maybe 300 seats. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah. And that theater's been there for a long, over 60 years. That's pretty big. So they're one of the longest hmm. running theaters in, in Los Angeles. Yeah. And then the one I'm working at now, I think they're in their 16th year, I believe. So, so you got... Uh, so you did the, m- the musical there, and then I did a couple, there a couple shows there. Any any d- any auditions for like TV, anything like that? I did any a couple. Desire? I did a couple of those auditions, but uh, after that, I was like, I just hated those cattle call lines. I'm just like, eh. yeah. Like what? I think I auditioned for Legally Blonde. You know, six. I don't know. Um. <laughs> oh the, no, they just I think they just remade it or something some so legally make it blonde uh, i remember whatever. auditioned i auditioned for a couple of reality shows like mm. a couple of weight loss shows i'm like hey <laughs> i could lose weight and make money <laughs> that's true but no that never went through um but uh yeah i mean like film never really i mean i took film classes and stuff uh it just never really did it for me yeah i liked i like doing the this stage life stage because it's just like you're What's well, the uh, going through it? Like you, it's nonstop. You're just right. going. Whereas film, it's like okay, let's take it again, try it again. I'm just like, I just like to live it. When you live it, yeah. And then you're on your. You have to be on your feet. If you mess up, you're screwed. Yeah. You have to cover for yourself, um, which is very interesting doing in musicals with tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. Had a lot of those. Yeah. So, well, tell us what, what that's like when you don't have a you know when you're not playing with a live musician to kind of improvise well, with you. Well, it's kind of like well you're on your own. <laughs> uh, I remember I was doing a show. I was doing a La Man of La Mancha, and I was understudying for the role of Sancho. And I had a couple rehearsals, and then I went on. And I was like, okay, here we go. And I was rehearsing, rehearsing. I was like, I got this, I got this. And I'm doing his first song, and I'm starting off great. And I'm like, all right, this is going good. Mm-hmm. And then. I start singing like the second verse first, uh, and I was like, "Okay, well maybe." And then in mid verse, I'm like, "Oh no, they don't end the same." <laughs> yeah, and so I ended up just going like, ooh, 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 <laughs> you know, and everyone was like laughing, and I'm like, "I'm like, is this song over yet?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everyone was like, "Oh, you sounded great." And I was like, "Really? No one noticed that my." I guess not, well, so. I mean. At least you realized it in the middle of the uh, of the thing, so you maybe yeah. can figure it out. But uh, that's the yeah, I, I get that though. What you were saying is uh, just being on stage; it's, it's the instant gratification. Mm-hmm. So you get the applause, or or if you have the you have the funny part, and then you get the laughter. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why I don't think I'll ever stop doing stand up. Now mm-hmm. you know it's like uh, I was just talking to that other my other actor friend that I had in here, <clears throat> and that's why he said he still does small theater work because I mean even though he's still like a working actor doing you know small parts on like I don't know what the fuck he does like General Hospital or something like that oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's got a recurring role I think on like Days of Our Lives or whatever one of those like daytime soap operas yeah, that's, yeah those are still around huh yeah wow. yeah there's he said there's only like four left but <laughs> the, yeah they're, but they're still going strong and uh, he's on one of them he's got a recurring role he's like they actually they gave him a name now that's <laughs> hey, I was like that's a big deal hey but, yeah He's like, yeah, I'm no longer Steve. just like cop one. <laughs> Steve, Steve, with Steve, titties. yeah, something, yeah, Steve with titties. That's, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's what he was saying. He's like, yeah, the, uh, you know, it's like mainlining, grat- you know, mm-hmm. g- gratitude. It's fucking amazing. But um, yeah, uh, that's what also we were talking. About. So wh- I mean, you know, I talk about bombing all the time, which is w- what's you know comes with with doing comedy doing mm-hmm. stand-up and whatnot i'm just like you kind of have to come to terms with the fact that that's going to happen mm-hmm. so when when you screw up in a moment like that you know what goes through your mind when you're on stage and you but you still have a lot of other people to fall on but in a moment like that maybe i mean you're the one that's at oh, yeah. fault <laughs> and it was just me and one other person and she looked at me and she's like you are on your own <laughs> <laughs> like she's just like Hey, yeah, it's all you. So, how many shows are you cranking out like every? Uh, this year, I just this year alone, 
I, uh, this is my, I'm currently in my third production, and then I'm right after this one, I go right into Christmas Carol. So four total this year. But these are long runs. We yeah, run for about seven to eight weeks. Wow. Yes. Wow, how many shows a week? Like, hmm, like five to eight, just depending. Man, so you, that, mm-hmm. that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So, so you, uh, you're shows. rehearsing like all week then, we too, rehearse, right? Yeah, we rehearse for about a month. Then, then we do the thing. And right now, it's because I'm doing shows now Wednesdays through Saturdays. And on Monday, Tuesdays, I'm rehearsing for Christmas Carol. So it's just like nonstop. Wow. But so are you just like, um, oh, my AC just turned off. But are you, uh, finally, got a little quiet in here. You're, are you strictly only doing like theater right now? or? I have a day job. Okay. I'm. Um, you know, your usual actor yeah. who serves. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's something I should really fucking look into because this whole office job thing and then trying to do what I am what I want to do. In the uh-huh. th- you know, I was able to sustain myself for a small period of like a one year where I was mm-hmm. I was working two days a week mm-hmm. and uh, and just doing stand-up and like commercials for like <laughs> – for like six months i was able to do it but it was you know that's a hustle it was a real but that's the thing that was like i i really want to do it again because Mm -hmm. out of necessity you work harder yeah so you know i want to put myself in that situation Mm -hmm. (laughs) like oh shit i don't eat next week if i don't figure out what (laughs) i'm gonna do right now yeah there's some moments like that too especially when there's uh, slow days and i'm like well i'm gonna make a bunch of money today so yeah do these (laughs) do these productions i mean do i mean they can't really pay what that well the hail where I I'd imagine at, that mean it'd be better in Arizona though, right? Like I feel like the budgets would be a lot. This this particular, I mean, you have some theaters that don't pay community theaters, and you yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the theater, and then you, they also have a couple of equity theaters out there too in Phoenix. What does that mean? Like the, part of the union. Oh. And so they'll hire, you know, union actors. Sometimes they'll come from New York. They'll yeah. cast from New York, LA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't done any of those ones yet. I've auditioned for a couple of those. Are you union? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm hoping soon. Maybe. I'm actually SAG eligible. Hey. But I'm like, I'm not going to pay fucking three grand to, right. <laughs> to not do gigs. Because exactly. then you can not Then you can only do SAG gigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty rough. Yeah, I've never done that. I've never looked into doing that. But but there's all, they do they do they cast a lot of commercials and stuff like that in Phoenix too. I was looking at some of those. Yeah, uh, you actually start to realize when you travel a little bit that um, the entertainment industry is everywhere, mm-hmm. and like you don't actually have to be in LA to mm-hmm. make it. Actually, your chances are better in other states because <laughs> <laughs> everybody comes to LA. You're right. Yeah, um, that's what I was talking to uh, to my friend about too. He's he came from New York, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and I had another friend, like, because he's actually making it happen. You know, he's got, he came from New York, was like, you know, came out. He said he was going to come out here, try it for four years. He's been here for 10 now. He's, and he's a working actor. So I was like, good on him. Because, you know, I'd have another friend that drove all, drove across the country from Philadelphia to, <laughs> to just here with, like, nothing. You know, right. just in his car. And he's mm-hmm. like, I'm going to make it. I'm like, you shouldn't have done that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you're gonna die out here. It's not like the movies. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, but he, you know, he kind of said that same thing was just based on necessity. That's why you work harder because you know he was like Mm -hmm. the you know and the 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 whole wanderlust is like kind of lost between like for me because I'm I'm already out here, Mm -hmm. you know. So I don't know. (laughs) You know what's coming? Yeah. Or it was in Scottsdale actually. it was called Ruthless the Musical, and I... Ruthless? What's that about? I, I See, because this is so another like, reason like, why, why yeah. I thought this would be a good conversation, because <laughs> I know nothing about musical theater. <laughs> like, besides the big hits, you know, fucking... So, so the, uh, Ruthless is like a parody, pretty much a parody of, like, all the old classic Hollywoody kind of stage mother musicals. So okay. I, I, I played, like, the mother. I was in drag, full oh, on okay. drag. Oh, okay, okay. And I just remember, like, <laughs> opening opening night, I went on, did my song, and, like, this old gay queen in the front row was just like, yes, mama! <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, get it! And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. That's fun. That's a fun heckle, though. <laughs> See, but, that, uh, but then that that's another thing that I, I you know, the, the opposites mm-hmm. of... Uh, 
of doing theater and doing stand up is like I would interact with that person. Like that'd be like, yeah, dude. Like, uh-huh. and like well, I, I'm, I, I made a little gesture. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I was like, I still have another scene to do. So. Right, <laughs> right, right. That's the thing is you you kind of can't really interact with the uh, with the audience too much. You kind of got you no, got to do yeah. your job. And it's um, always fun doing shows where you're just like, you know, like people on their phones and stuff. And I'm just like, really? You paid $40 oh, to be, be here. that's got to be fucking... <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, really? Yeah. Um, but as far as like heckling, heckling, and no, I haven't really had... Not, not like... Uh, not any, did you hear about... Nothing sh- thrown at me or anything. <laughs> not like Shia LaBeouf when he was slapping people in the ass? And no. On no. Broadway? <laughs> no, I heard about <laughs> did that. Did you hear about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, Apparently, I, 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 I like saw an interview where he like cleared that up. He said uh-huh. he was out with that cast of the show, uh-huh. drinking with them, and then they invited him to the show. Mm-hmm. And so that's why he was like slapping their asses and stuff because he was already partying with them earlier that day. <laughs> so he's like, oh yeah, continue <laughs> so this. He's like, I know these guys, and then they <laughs> kicked him out because that, and then like the press took that kind of ran with it. But uh, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any um? So you have no no ambition to do like movies or or Um, commercials or anything like that i mean it sounds like you're pretty content with like where you're at right now yeah eventually what i want to do um uh, a good friend of mine and i we want to eventually start our own kind of group going um i i I love directing Uh, okay so i want to get more into directing Uh, after college i was invited back to arroyo and i directed some stuff there oh really yeah yeah So that was fun, and I loved it. And I did, I did helped out with a couple other like children's oh, theaters in the group yeah, in the yeah. area. Yeah, so I missed that a lot. So I'd like to get back into that. But. Yeah. Um, what about writing? Any writing? I've had ideas, but I've never really been serious about it. But it's an option. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah, always I mean, had, I've always had this this vision of like it would be so cool. To see a show completely filled with like overweight people, because it's like you know every time you see a musical, it's like always like the skinny dancers, <laughs> yes, you know. Yeah. And I'm just like, no, like that's a great idea. I want like n- like no, yeah, all large people singing that's a great and dancing idea. and. What would the what would the premise be? What would it, what would it? What's the pro- what's the uh, <laughs> who's the antagonist? The skinny bitch. The skinny <laughs> 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 Gluten. Like Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> and her goop web, <laughs> website or something. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. But I always thought that would, that would be so cool. And I remember, like, talking to some... For like, some reason, I'm just thinking of a dance number, like, in a Burger King or something. Hey! I'm stealing that. <laughs> Have it it's your like way. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you know, the, the, somebody's ordering the food. I don't know if you remember... Um, in high school when we did I do I remember your uh, when we did our, your, your our subway musical yes <laughs> yes, yes I do remember that and that's kind of where it started I was like yeah I, we can make this legit yeah um, <laughs> that's a great idea though it really is mm-hmm. and I I don't know why I keep thinking of like that way. I'm like, I'm just writing roles for myself. Right. Really? So <laughs> I mean, why not? So that's the way to do it. And then you, then you could direct it and then mm-hmm. it's, and then make yourself the star. You just be like your own Tommy Wiseau. There you go. <laughs> you know what Tommy Wiseau is? I don't know. Who that okay. is. <laughs> you know, the, the movie, the room. Yes. Yeah. That okay. guy. Yeah. yeah. He like, kinda like a, like a Lin-Manuel Miranda. Whoever that is. He wrote the Hamilton. Oh, okay. So what do you think of that one? What do you think? I of liked it? Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. It's fun. We saw it in Arizona, and we won the lottery tickets. We sat in the front row, and we had a good time. You won tickets? I, I did. Yeah, $10 a ticket. Whoa. Yeah. It was Aren't like, they like a couple hundred bucks? Oh, yeah. They got ripped off. <laughs> yeah. Like, so it's not worth... I was like, this show's great, but it's not it's worth, worth $2,000. Co- $2, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen it. I've heard a few of the songs. I hear it's great. But, it's fun. Um, I'm not... You know, um, I've gone... So like you know the big hit shows like I went to Wicked a few times. Wait, what's Wicked? Fifteenth <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> what's Wicked? <laughs> Isn't that like your favorite show? That's one of them, yeah. yeah. That's like that's my ongoing joke. You heard of Wicked, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I went twice. Um, I think we saw Wicked together one time. I think we did. Yeah. Uh, wait, maybe I went three times. Fuck, I don't know. It's a great show. I really mm-hmm. enjoy it. Uh, I saw Lion King about once or twice or mm-hmm. something, and then, uh, but that's it. Like I, my my, <laughs> I think after high school, my uh, my Broadway career was over. 
Fuck next. <laughs> it's you know, I don't know. Maybe it's, I you know, I just I I would love to go more to like smaller theaters. I just yeah. I don't really know the scene. You know, like mm-hmm. I would love to go. You know, there's this thing. Uh, there's this thing that they. I'm sure you've heard of it, but it, it's called. Uh, it's it's a silly little thing that they do at the Dragonfly. I don't know if they do it anymore, but it used to be. Uh, it was called. Uh, it's a little bar, right? The Dragonfly on Sun. Uh, I think mm-hmm. it was on Santa Monica. It's a little club, like a like a. I think I've been there a couple times. Musical club. I pl- mm-hmm. I played there before in a band, but. Uh, I think that's where I saw sh- uh, a Showgirls parody. Yeah, so they do yes. the parodies. They, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do uh, yeah Showgirls live and they do uh, Point Break live. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so I always wanted to go to that. With and I like never... the soak zones and stuff. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, exactly. And then they were doing another one. I think they were doing Die Hard Live or something like oh, that, wow. too, okay. which was, like, going to be. But, I mean, <laughs> that shit's hilarious, dude. But, it, um, yeah, just for me, I feel like if I'm going to spend any money on theater, like, I should probably just go watch a smaller play just because I feel like, I don't know, I'm becoming more of, like, this, like, support the artist, man. Totally, <laughs> like, totally. I mean, there's always good theater to be found. And I, I enjoy going to the smaller venues, too, more intimate, more. Yeah, you just, I don't know, you just feel like you're you're getting more of your money's worth, I, I think, think so. when you when you do mm-hmm. that, because you kind of know that it's going to, you know, mm-hmm. these, these po- the poor people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and not the really, you know, the, not that the, the people on the stage are the rich people, but it's like, it's kind of more like a, like a gala event for other people, you know, mm-hmm. like just to say that I was at this thing <laughs> with all these other. I paid three thousand uh, dollars and saw Hamilton. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, do you? Um, how do you? F- do you f- ever feel like the uh, the theater is kind of getting not a bad rap, but like you don't you, don't you ever feel like you want it to be a little bit more, you know, a little more popular or um, anything like that? I honestly feel like in the last few years especially now that we have all these you know rent lives and all these yeah. live broadcasting that's opening up a lot of doors of theater and i feel like theater has been becoming more popular more mainstream really oh uh, yeah i'm just maybe i'm oh. just so disconnected man especially well ever since hamilton came out, i mean obviously yeah you, well you, you've heard of hamilton well, i've heard of hamilton so, yeah. like and that was another yeah. Thing that got people going. That's interesting, but that was yeah. more of a New York thing. It never came to the West Side, did it? It was here in L.A. for a long time. See, look at that. Don't yeah. know. Um, then I saw it. In, I saw it, it's. I saw yeah. I saw it in Arizona, but yeah, I knew it was in L.A. You saw it, and it, 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 they took it on tour or something. Mm-hmm. There's like two tours. Is that how, how does that work? Do like do plays just go on tour? Yeah, they go yeah. on tour. Like they go to like they cast them. Um, yeah, and so the the same cast will go throughout the country. They'll for have like a touring cast. Yeah, interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh. I would love to do a tour one day. That's how, well, everyone would love to yeah, do a tour. That'd be just, amazing. I have some friends. I have a lot of friends who have done different kinds of tours. I'm just like, oh my god, it's like a blast. So let's do this, right? We'll work on a play together. The I'll, fat, the fat play. The fat play. I'll, I'll help you write it. I'll do stand up in between. Seen in Burger Kings across America. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll wear a burger suit. Hey, there you go. And then, uh, and it will be a Broadway hit. Uh, Unbound Productions, and it's called Wicked Lit. Where, and, okay. And what, they, what does that and mean? And they they're doing it again this year. I mean, they've been going. I think it's their tenth year this year. So explain what that is. What it is is we would do um, classic horror literature stories mm. in mm. a cemetery and mausoleum. That sounds like fun. It was a lot of fun. And the year I did it, um, I got to play like this ghost creature who didn't speak any words, but just like kind of mumbled and stuff. And mm-hmm. We did it inside the mausoleum, which was creepy, and in the mausoleum, in the mausoleum, Whoa. yeah. Um, and then I, I, because I was also like the story guy, because it was like a walking show, yeah. And so we would walk groups. Oh, so there was like a tour, kind of like a tour guide, but the actors would kind of move the scenes Whoa. along. So we'll do that. Like sounds like fun. I would love to watch that. It, it's quite a treat. Um, and so yeah, you walk through the, the catacombs, like the. Mm-hmm. They had a they did a show about catacombs. So you would walk down like the hallway of the mausoleum, and yeah, you, it's dark and it's like cold. It's very creepy. And cool. They, they did com- they did some good stuff. Cool, cool special effects. How do you get involved with that? You just uh, I just saw an ad. It was like, hey, yeah. we're, we're auditioning, and I was like, well, I'll try out for it. And and then they're like, okay, get this. We're gonna walk through a cemetery. Yeah. And at first, I was like, wait, what did I get myself into? Right. Right. Um, but it ended up being such a really fun experience. Yeah, and it sounds really fun. It was, they did it around Halloween. They're doing it now. It's around Halloween time. Um, 
Yeah, and they would do like maybe three or four shows a night. Oh, that's um, right. The la- that reminds me of the last time. <laughs> I think the last time I saw you was when we were both scare actors at that stupid Pomona Fairplex <laughs> that's thing. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That was fun. It was really fun. I mean, I was over it by like the first week. Yeah, I remember, I remember one of the last days I saw you, you were just like. Hey. I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they put me in like the lamest maze i was like oh, we're punching in the pirate maze and I was like, oh that was you were in the pirate oh I, I had a great maze mine was pretty fun i was oh. the, i was a vampire so that's right it was real fun yeah. yeah and i was like okay and then the guy they put me with and he was like oh i don't want to be here <laughs> and i was like oh th- well, then, th- this is gonna be great and then like he stopped showing up and so i was in oh, my, that room man. by myself for like two weeks <laughs> And you I was like, just wa- dude, you should have just walked over to our maze. That's what we started doing. We should have started crossing mazes. <laughs> oh, really? I was just sitting in my corner like, okay. Yeah, uh, so we we both, I don't even know how, I think it was through the citrus thing probably. I think so. I yeah, think yeah. so. Uh, we ended up being uh, scare actors at the Pomona Fairplex for their their uh, thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, it, was the, it was the year before Rob Zombie actually took it over, which was... Right. Which was kind of sad because I would have rather have done that one. <laughs> but um, anyway, we did we did this one. It's a real fucking uh, uh, real. And there's like ghetto and there's just like four mazes. There was only about four mazes, and we were in the and they were charging barns. like twenty five dollars, and we, yeah, like we, were the, we were in the barns. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty rough, but but I had a lot of fun, man. We was like you know, me and a, it was like me and a couple other you know friends that were just like. Fuck it, let's just do right. this in my. I'm all my, like, oh, like Brian's there. Maybe we'll just no. They put me in the pirate maze with the guy who didn't want to be there. <laughs> no, we all ended up being a. We all ended up being in separate mazes too, except for me and my brother were in the same one. Oh, okay. So, but he was a werewolf and I was a vampire. So what we decided to do was was start fighting each other. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So uh, I was just sitting there talking to the fake alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, huh? How are you? You know. How was the pirate one? They would. It was just pirate. It was literally just like props and like, I feel like people just left. Yeah. And like, yeah, ours was pretty good. We got we had some pretty scary people in ours. That's and then, good. And then, uh, I would scare the shit out of people, and then I'd run and fight my brother at a different spot, and they'd be like, "That's the same guy from the other <laughs> spot." And then we'd get drunk, and that was like that was another there thing too. Go. We'd sneak in booze and just just drink. <laughs> That's the. Shit, I should have just come you to your maze. You should have. We were passing around just whiskey. A the pirate whole, sitting in the corner. One, one of the times I got really drunk, and then like these <laughs> these people walk by. They're like, "Man, that that guy smells like whiskey." <laughs> so awful. it's like a 4D experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's not whiskey. That's a blood. <laughs> that's blood. Blood whiskey. <laughs> that's uh, blood whiskey. <laughs> I forgot I had this board here. I was I was playing little sound drops, but. Oh. We have our own sound drop. Is this your? This your? That'll be that'll be. That's for the gay stories. (laughs) Well, let's hear the gay stories. Let's go deep. Oh, how deep do we want to? How deep do we want to go? Balls deep. Balls deep. (laughs) Into a squealing hog. Um, I'm gay. Uh, Obviously. Obviously. (laughs) Um. I'll tell you the story, how I came out to my, my family. Yeah, well, um, I remember being around when it was kind of like some people knew, some people didn't. Some people were kind of like on the fence about it. Or, you know, you were we weren't sure if you were sure. I don't I wasn't <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I was like, but it was like, you I know, am what I am. Yeah, it is. What so, it is. Yeah, sure. Let's hear about that. About like that time or. Well, oh, whatever. Well, was well, boring when was you came like, out. Let's hear oh, that. so like. Obviously, in college, I was like, okay, I am full-on gay. Yeah. Like, cool. And then, so, <laughs> it was my 21st birthday, and, you know, we're having a huge party at my house, and I am, like, gone. So gone. You're way <laughs> You're drunk. Wasted. And then I just go to my mother, and I was like, Mom, I have something to tell you. And my mom was like, okay, what? And I was like, Mom, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think I'm gay. And she goes, Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. She goes, she goes, we all know. And I was yeah. like, how do you know? She goes, I'm your mother. <laughs> she goes, you used to dress up as Mary Poppins. <laughs> I was like, oh. And then, like, everyone was like, yeah, who cares? And I was like, hey. Yeah. I just thought that was funny. And I was like, yeah, so? 
Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she knew from the from the start. From the womb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Right. <clears throat> and it was all downhill from there. <laughs> and musical theater. And musical and theater. Um, I'm really into the drag scene. I love the drag scene. You know, my... Uh, I think actually might be the dragonfly, but uh, my, my brother... He does a podcast called Rat Talk, mm-hmm. and he has uh, – he's got his home – he's got a weird drag following. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Your brother? Be- yes. Yes, because he has uh, he has drag queens on his show, uh-huh. and he'll have uh, he'll have them talk about their, you know, their shows and all this stuff, and he would, he would go and, like, take videos and post them on Instagram and stuff, and so now he's got – now he's got a, a big drag queen following for from going to these, these shows. Mm-hmm. You should – I don't know what fucking show it is, but uh, – there's well, there's one where he, that he goes to all the time. <laughs> like, and I, look, I don't know. <laughs> he just he, they're trying to get me to go. You should and go. They're fun. It's, it looks they're so fun. people I mean, are so scared. Like, oh, drag queens are. Creepy. They're so, so cool. <laughs> I'm not creeped out. I just I'm like, well, I don't know. They're fun. You'd be a, you'd be amazed on what they could no, do. No, I'm seriously. It's, like it's you a might crave. fall in love with one of them. <laughs> like. You're gonna so be like you, that is not. A so goal. do you do you go out to these clubs or do you any do you anything like that or yeah uh, yeah we do. me and my boyfriend go out a lot we follow yeah. the, the RuPaul's Drag Race queens oh of course they come to town they'll they'll come to Phoenix and like in tours. so you live near Phoenix then mm-hmm. I do oh okay yeah it's about thirty minutes to Phoenix I don't know like I I've only I've only been through Arizona a few times like mm-hmm. I don't travel much man it's like and uh, Phoenix wish, is like I a little I LA I hear yeah. I hear, uh, and I, I was oh I was like this close to going out for a s- little stand up tour that I wanted to do, and I just it just but it wasn't gonna pay much, mm-hmm. and I wasn't sure if I was gonna make end meet, ends meet to get out there and like do like you know fifty dollars shows for a week and then come back and not I mean most yeah. of the time, usually you know if you're a pro they give you a place to stay mm-hmm. you know and it was like if I was gonna go out there I'd have to pay for my own stay and all that shit but. Well, if you ever go, you can stay with them. I'd love to. Yeah, that'd be great. Actually, that's a well, maybe. I'll just make. Maybe we'll just make it happen. And then make it can, happen. And then we can write our uh, during hamburger. the fight musical. Fight, fight, <laughs> fat, fight, fight, fat musical. Fat musical. That's with a great blood idea. Blood whiskey. Should, yes. <laughs> should really make that happen. Oh, I'm all getting right. all these ideas. All right. <laughs> all right. Maybe we'll wrap it there. Do you have any uh, any closing words or uh, um, any any, uh, any last stories you'd like to get in or uh, anything like that? Anything you'd like to ask? Tell the folks at home. Well, thanks for watching. I guess listening. <laughs> uh, can we f- can we find you anywhere? If anybody's listening um, in, uh, in in Phoenix. Well, I'm currently doing uh, Annie the musical at the Hale Theater in Gil- really? in, uh, in Gilbert or something. Who yes. are you playing in Annie? I'm playing Bert Healy. He's the radio announcer, mm. and I play a bunch of other fun characters. In nice the play through November the till uh, Thanksgiving week weekend. So and then. Right into Christmas Carol, right Christmas afterwards. Carol. So, are you in, you in, you're involved in just one like group right now? Then, right? Yes, yes. Recently, like last couple shows, I've been at the same. Actually, theater. here's here's what I want to know: How does somebody get from like where you're at to actually become like a Broadway star or something like that? You just have to audition. Just, audition. just be good in audition. You have to be good in audition. It's, it's not about like who you know this time. It's probably. <laughs> it's so probably would is. would you be able to know anybody that would actually get you through that? I mean, I had some friends do tours and stuff, but I'm not really like producer like. I mean, I but like to be honest, I haven't even like attempted to like audition yeah. for stuff that big yet. Why not? I don't know. Push yourself, right? I then. should push myself. Yeah. New year, new me. I'll do that. Do it. There. New year, new me. <laughs> there needs to be an event that right. happens in order for right. me. I'm like, this is the year. <laughs> this what is, is it with gay people and girls that just love like 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 a date to make things happen? Because it's just. You have to have a date. I don't know. <laughs> you need a celebration. You need a, you need a celebrate you need everything. A celebration. That's celebrate life. Okay, celebrate life. We got it. All right. That's that's, that's what we'll close on. That's what we'll close on. Celebrate, celebrate life. Celebrate life. We'll- 
And make a date. And make a date. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Dude. Thanks this for was, having this me. This was fun. I, I thanks really, for squeezing me in. <laughs> of course. Well, I'm so sorry that I made oh, yeah. you wait. Oh, and, uh, you know, your your friends, your boyfriend and your your friends are out. out They're out there listening out there. to some like Ella records. It's fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. My, <laughs> yeah, my uh, my fiance. Oh, by the way, thank you so much to Vicky for yes, helping me thank get, you, Vicky. get set up and all that stuff. Um, so you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan P. Demarest. Guys, thank you so much. Ray, can they follow you on uh, Instagram I, or anything? On the Instagrams, I am Ray X Bear, I think. And then, <laughs> I, you know, I just put that it together in my head right now. I think I am like the Ray X Bear. That's pretty much my <laughs> handle for everything. Because so. I'm right. a bear. I got it. And that's yeah. my favorite animal. Ah. Yes. So. All right. All righty. Well, there we you, go. Ryan. That's Raymond Barcello. Barcello. Thank you so much. Thank man. you. Cool. We're good. I don't think I can.